Hey everybody, my name is Lauren. And I'm Katie. And we are advocates at Figma, and we are here to join you on this journey of building your portfolio. Before we get started, we want to get to know one another. We're going to do a fun fact. Lauren, what's yours? I have a forklift license. It's expired, but I still have it. And it is my, my uh, fun fact that I tell parties all the time. And I love DIY projects. My first one was making homemade pasta. And I took it from there. I love that. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. But we are not here to talk about that. I'm as much as I'd love to dig into <laughs> forklift licenses. Uh, we are here, as Lauren mentioned, to talk about building portfolios. And I want to just start, Lauren, by understanding why. Why would someone want to build a portfolio? Yes. Uh, well, I don't necessarily know that they want to, but we really <laughs> need to, especially if you're looking for jobs in the product space, I think particularly as a designer. Um, I have been a designer since I graduated college. And since I graduated college, I needed to have a portfolio in order to showcase my work to prove that I could get these jobs. Um, so I think they're really, really important as designers, but even outside of designers, it just in the product space, um, more and more folks are needing these portfolios to showcase their work. Okay, so we don't want them, we need them. What should we put in them? So many things. Um, and I think it's gonna range depending on your level too. Folks who are right out of college, um, they're gonna have a completely different portfolio than somebody who's been in the space for 10, 20 years. Yeah. And I think, the key thing is figuring out what you can put in your portfolio. It may be stuff that you're creating kind of on your own. It may be um, almost like mock projects that you've created, class projects even, um, stuff that you're just doing on the side, um, freelancing stuff. It may be things that you've actually worked on with real clients. Um, it may be a, a whole variety of different things. The key thing is you just need something to show your work. And so with that, can we see your portfolio, Lauren? You sure can't. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where it is anymore. Um, I think uh, the running joke amongst designers is that nobody wants to update their portfolio. The second you get a job, you stop updating your portfolio. I truly don't even know where mine is anymore since I got this job. Um, but that's OK, because we're going to build one together. We can build a fresh portfolio for both of us. And let's get into that now. 